Um, we are not go now going to um, create floors in the building. Uh, go to floor 2 and um, select floor this one 160 millimeter with chorus comb floor which looks like this and um, a height offset is 160 uh, by 160 which means that floor sits on top of beams and now we choose the pick supports uh, and select all the start again all the perimeter beams and they turn pink after finishing uh, click modify and then drag and select the whole slab and here in order for the slab to um, go not to stop at the center line of the beam uh, we add the, the extra 150 millimeter width on the perimeter and with this if I click uh, we can see where now the slab ends this black line is the uh, sl slab edge uh, it should be on the outside of the beam but if in some spans it's on the inside so um, we can click and press hold control and select all the edges where the black line is on the inside That's it, and then change there to plus. And now uh, the black line is on the outside everywhere. And now all that remains to do is to pick the span direction uh, for the slabs in uh, formed with the secondary beams. The span is in the vertical direction, so just click on any vertical beam and that's it. The slab is created and it's spanning in the vertical direction. All the slabs are spanning in the vertical direction. And um, now we can uh, view this in 3D view. Um, uh, I created it on the second floor. I could have created it on the first floor, obviously. Uh, but now um, I'm going to copy it to the remaining floors. So if I go to the N elevation and select um, just the floor, so check and just the floor and um, copy and paste the selected levels, floor one and floors 3 to 7 alright so now the floor has been copied and it's everywhere now next thing is to create the shafts um, in uh, ground floor view uh, I'm going to create first the walls and the first uh, shaft, which is the lift opening, is um, its basic wall, generic 300. Uh, finish face interior, and its uh, base constraint is foundation, and top constraint uh, is uh, to the floor 1, I think it says in the notes, yes, floor 1, and I'm going to uh, click anywhere and just draw um, 2500, 3500, 2500 uh, will be locking to 
2 and 3500. And now <laughs> this we need to position and to do that I can uh, click here and uh, first I'm going to lock this 2900 uh, by making it permanent and clicking on the line and on this padlock and after that uh, if I want to change this length to 2000 it will not uh, it will not change the length in this direction uh, now I do the same for the horizontal um, make it permanent and lock it and then uh, set this uh, to 300 after this we can uh, delete at the dimensions and it says it is still being constrained and uh, that's the first shaft now um, and that's the first it's not a shaft it's just these are just the walls and and now the shaft uh, first with the boundary line pick walls so this is creating an opening in the wall uh, enclosure and then uh, click on the symbolic line and click on the press escape and again select the two corners to, and press escape and then uh, accept so this has created the walls and the opening and now we need to repeat that also for the stairs the stair, stairs opening is 3300 by 6700 so again uh, I'm going to open the uh, wall and this is 3300 uh, this is uh, 6700 And this is the finished wall and I can again uh, click modify and uh, select first the vertical vertical dimension I'm going to lock and that it will not be changing when I modify this length which should be 1000 from the grid line and in the same way um, at the moment it's zero so I'll first uh, move it a little bit to this I will move this, I will use the move tool to move this um, in the modify, move and select and click on this point and move it horizontally 
And uh, just if I check now, yeah, this is nine hundred and five. This is this should be nine hundred, so nine hundred. Um, did I not lock this? No, I didn't. So I haven't locked this horizontal dimension, so I have to lock it. Um, first change it to 3300, sorry, uh, 2700, and then, and then lock it. And then uh, I can modify this to 900 and this will not change so yeah that's it and now I can delete the dimensions and uh, in the same way like in the previous example uh, modify I can now create a shaft opening using first boundary line pick walls and then symbolic line to place escape and here and here and escape and then tick so this is the second shaft created and um, if I now uh, look at it so we have created the walls and the openings and uh, the best way now is to see it in the 3D view and here are the uh, The, the shafts. Now all we need to do is to select them and extend them all the way to the roof. So uh, going back to the ground floor and uh, I will select the two so just the walls and shaft openings and for the base constraint uh, put foundation and uh, top constraint is uh, up to the floor roof top offset is minus thousand and 